Hey everybody! So we had a question in the Mandolin Basics and More Facebook group this week, and it was about what we call bar chords on the mandolin. Now, bar chords on the mandolin are nothing like the difficulty of what you would do on the guitar, where you may be barring across the whole neck uh, for a bar chord on guitar. In mandolin, our bar chords typically are only two strings, but that doesn't mean that they're not difficult. And the question was, related to this chord that I call the Adam Steffi E chord because Adam uses it a lot. An example would be um, on the Dan Tominsky band album, uh, Heads. Uh, the song is Heads You Win, Tails I Lose. Starts with this. great chord. Works for a lot of stuff. Uh, it can work on pretty stuff. It can work on more ferocious stuff. Uh, but it's hard to play at first. And the reason is that this chord is asking you to hold down two strings. And to be clear, when I say two strings, I mean two sets of two strings or two courses of strings, we call them. So I mean holding down the D string and the A string at once, which is a total of four individual strings. But on mandolin, we refer to each set of strings just as string singular rather than plural. So what you have to do is hold down two of them at once. And most finger, most people's fingertips just aren't big enough to do that, mine included. But that's okay. What we're going to do, it's going to feel like a cheater method, but this is actually what many great and even legendary mandolin players do because most people don't have fingers that are big enough to play this chord. Now, if you do have fingers that are big enough, that's great. Just plant it on both, play them, get full tone out of each one, and that's awesome. That, of, of course, does come with some unfortunate disadvantages if you move way up the neck. But whatever fingers you have, you can be a good mandolin player. So don't worry if your fingers are tiny or if they're huge, you can play to those strengths. And for this particular video, this is related to folks who don't have big fingers who are trying to hold these down. Now, there's two things that you should do. One of them is, instead of having the finger come straight down, you can actually angle it back this way a little bit. So instead of straight down, like you might do a single note, look like that, you can angle back this way a little bit more, put those smack in between the two strings like that, and that gets you a little more coverage. But as you might be noticing, if you can see this, I'm still not fully covering all the strings. What I'm doing is I'm pushing the strings down into a U shape. So if we have four strings, my finger is landing right here in the middle and it's pushing down one of the A strings and one of the D strings completely. And then the outside A string and the outside D string, it's touching them enough to mute it and actually pushing down for my finger, pushing down on a little bit. But it's not full tone. If I put my finger here, then my inner A string, the one that my finger's touching, has a clear sound. And my inner D string, the one that my index finger is touching and fully pushing down, it also has a clear tone. But my outer D string, it's muted. It's got a little bit of the note, but it's mostly muted. Outer A string, same thing. You can hear the note a little bit, but it's mostly muted. Now you might think, well, this isn't gonna work. That's all the sounds you've been told since you first started. You should not make muted sounds like that or partially pitched sounds like that. But in this case, it's totally okay. If you were playing lead, that would be suboptimal. Not super clean, but in the context of a chord, you can't hear the difference. When I play that, you can't tell that two of my strings, and talking about one of each pair of strings in this case, um, but the one of my A strings and one of my D strings, they're making a muted sound. You could never tell when I do that. So that's the trick. You just put that finger smack in the middle. Don't go straight down. Get a little bit of an angle like this to cover a little bit more ground. Put that finger smack in the middle. And I've seen people with tiny, tiny fingers pull this off. Now, if you do have very, very tiny fingers, you're going to need to mess around with the angle a little bit to figure out how to get those two, but you can do it. The smaller your fingers are, the more you're gonna to need to flatten out your finger like this. 
uh, but be careful for anybody that you don't flatten out your finger too much or you're going to mute your open E and you want to keep that note. So you need to make sure your finger clears that open E enough to get this chord. Same thing applies to your E minor. And I guess I should go over where this chord is because uh, not everybody was in the conversation where the picture was shared that shows what the chord is. So how you play this chord is you put your middle finger on the fourth fret of the G string. Then the index finger goes on the second fret of the D string and the A string. And then you have an open E. This technique also works on your E minor. Your E minor is open, 2-2, two, two, open. It works on this nice big open A chord too. That's 2-2, two, two, open, open. Same thing's happening here. I have a partially muted string and another partially muted string. But I have two notes that are clean. And when I play the whole chord, you can't tell the difference. All right. So hopefully that will solve the woes of a whole bunch of you out there who are trying to make sense of these chords. I know they're tough. I don't mean to say that they're just like falling off a log. You probably won't get this down instantly. Although for a lot of folks who have already tried this for a while, you may actually get a change instantly. But for most, it's still going to take some practice to get it down. So don't let yourself, don't get discouraged if it doesn't happen instantly. All right, everybody, uh, feel free to ask questions in the comments. And if you have requests for topics you'd like me to cover in other videos, uh, reach out, put it in the comments or send me a message and I am happy to add it to the list. All right, bye everybody.